my channel. Today's video is going to be a life update. Get ready with me. I am getting ready for the day and figured that I haven't filmed one of these in quite a while. So I'm just gonna show you guys kind of what I'm doing today. And I'm gonna try something different with my hair. We're gonna see if it works out. But I do wanna give a shout out to Kate Spade New York for sponsoring today's video. They sent me a couple products from their Spade Flower Jacquard collection. They're so cute. So I have this cosmetics bag. This is like the perfect size for my daily makeup. I always try to make sure that my everyday makeup can fit in something this big. So these bags are part of a collection of everyday bags. So they have different sizes. So they have like the cosmetics bag. They have this one that I kind of just use as like a crossbody bag. I also love the colors of this. You guys know I love anything like blush pinky. So super cute. They also have obviously this one is has like darker colors and has green. I feel like green is so trendy this year. They also have bigger tote bags that will hold like everything that you need. And obviously I have a baby. So if I'm going out with her, I need something that's bigger that I can use as a diaper bag. So they have options like that, or they do have the smaller ones like this. They also have like a wristlet if you just want to like put your money in there. Um, I usually prefer this size if I'm not taking out a diaper bag so I can fit in like my phone, my wallet, and that's like pretty much all that I need. They also have some other fun products in it. These prints like shoes, a bucket hat, an AirPods case. So you guys can explore the collection and shop. I'll have the link in my bio um, for katespade.com or you can also shop in stores. Um, I was gonna start with my makeup first, but I'm actually gonna do my hair first because I'm going to attempt to use these hot rollers. My mom got me these for Christmas. I've used them probably like two times and I feel like sometimes I just cannot figure it out. I don't know, but my sister uses them and they look so cute on her. So I was gonna do my makeup first and then do my hair, but since my hair has to like set in these, I'm gonna do my hair first. So I think I might actually fast forward this part. I'll kind of show you guys how I'm gonna do it and then I'll like talk through, do my makeup and do like a life update and stuff. But yeah, brushing out my hair. Just washed it yesterday, so it's pretty clean. And I'm gonna put in a little bit of dry shampoo. I always put this in for texture, even when like my hair is clean and I don't really need to like soak up any oil. So I'm gonna do that. And they came with these clips. This is my problem is I always like leave a dent in my hair with the clips, but my sister doesn't have that problem. So I'm obviously doing something wrong. But I think what I'm gonna do is just start with like these top pieces. So I'm rolling a big one up. And then I'm gonna try to put the clip like back more so that it's not making a dent on the top. If that makes sense, like I don't wanna put it on the top because then it's gonna clamp right here. Okay, so yeah, today's look, I'm trying to do like, you know, the hair that's trendy right now. I don't even know what you would call it instead of like actually curling my hair. So I'm gonna separate the sides. This is also not a tutorial, it's more of an experiment. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and then I will, okay. I obviously need some practice. I'm just gonna fast forward it and you guys can see what I end up doing and then I'll do the life update when I'm doing my makeup because this is just stress to me right now. Okay, so my hair is done. Usually my makeup takes like five or 10 minutes. So I'll probably go a little bit slower. So this has time to set, but I have my stuff in my cute Kate Spade New York bag. I'm gonna link these products down below for you guys. First thing I'm using is this like Wonder Glow stuff. So I don't use this every single day because sometimes I just forget, but it just kind of gives your skin like an extra glow, I guess. And then most days, depending on what I'm doing, I will just use concealer. So that is what I'm doing today oh wait but i also always almost forget this this is just like a little pinky highlighter or it's like a corrector thing so i like to put this underneath my eyes i also have a mirror over here if i'm looking over here but anyways let's go ahead and get into the life update because i feel like life is crazy especially life with a toddler cove has always been such an easy baby but the past like month or two, she has been so much harder. And if you guys watch my vlog channel, you might've seen that we took away her binky. I wanted to do it before we have baby number two because I'm hoping that it's been like long enough that Cove isn't interested in like having a binky again, like putting it in her mouth and like wanting to actually use it like she does now or like like she did like two weeks ago. So it's been like two weeks since we took that away and that has just, made everything else way harder. <laughs> I thought that she, she's always been like really uh like adaptable and adjustable to things. So I thought honestly, after like two or three days that she would be over it. We did like the binky fairy. So she put her binkies in a basket. We put them outside and then the binky fairy came and brought her a couple new toys and 
books instead which i didn't really think she would understand that like in the first place but i just wanted to do a little like symbolic thing so we did that and that was like two weeks ago now and it still is so hard every day <laughs> so yeah that is what we have been dealing with her nighttime and her naps and she's always been a really really good sleeper but without the binky she just like wants to be held but no matter how long we hold her she just is sad <laughs> when she like actually goes into her crib so that has been so so hard and i feel like just being a toddler i don't know i just like feel bad for her because i'm like you just are figuring out life <laughs> like it's kind of sad but it's also like so frustrating at the same time so that has been very interesting she also is a huge daddy's girl which is nice for me because she always wants parker when she's upset but it's also hard for me because i can't comfort her as much as parker can um and then it's also hard for parker he like obviously loves it and is obsessed with the fact that she's a daddy's girl but then he doesn't like get a break as much because she just like wants him literally every second so i feel like this is like the first time in my journey as a parent that i'm like i don't even know what to do like i always kind of felt like even when she was a new baby and i was like having a baby for the first time and everything was all new it didn't really ever feel like i didn't really know what to do until now when she like freaks out but i don't really like to share a lot of her like i'm not going to post her doing that you know this is my bronzer cream bronzer that i'm putting on that is an update on my life currently is that i have a toddler that is really 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 hard it has finally been getting warmer though which is really fun we've been trying to just like get her outside more we actually got her a trampoline which has been super fun so she loves that and then just like basically doing like any activity outside i also just put on my liquid blush which i'm actually going to put a lot of this on because i always feel like i put on a good amount and then when I look in the mirror, it looks like I have no blush on at all. So I'm putting on kind of a lot of this and blending it. But people also ask like why we took away her binky at this age. But I feel like she's kind of old. She's 21 months. So I feel like that's kind of old to like be taking it away. But again, I just wanted to like have it taken away before the new baby comes. But update on the new baby. I will be 20 weeks pregnant this week. I think this video is going to go up a couple days after I film. So when you guys are watching this, I'll already be 20 weeks, which is halfway. And I kind of already think of myself as halfway right now being 19 weeks because cove came at 38 weeks which is two full weeks early and that just was like when she was ready to come i guess i don't know so it's making me assume that this baby will also come early i don't know if she'll come at 38 weeks but it was really nice that cove did because it, that's like before i was super 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 uncomfortable uh so i'm kind of like hoping that this baby will come like between 38 and 39 i haven't decided if i would get induced yet i don't know the only reason that i would is because especially having a toddler it'd be nice to plan out like exactly when i'm going to the hospital so that i know like when i need to have somebody come over and be with cove and when i can tell my mom like kate we're going to the hospital at like 8 a.m on this day or whatever lip liner is next can't really talk while i do this i'm also pretty sure i talked about this on this channel but i did get lip filler a while ago i got a full syringe and i was really hoping that it would last me until like because i knew i wanted to get pregnant and then like be pregnant and then breastfeed for at least like a year so i'm hoping that it will last me for quite a while but i really really like it in case anybody is wondering an update on that sometimes people ask like how i feel about them now and i feel like they look good they still look natural to me they're not too big i'm kind of used to like overlining my lips a little bit still so if i do that then i feel like they're pretty big but i feel like if i don't overline them that much then i really like how they look but anyways also i should have written down like what order to like do a life update in because i'm just like saying random things all at random times now but if you guys didn't see, if you don't follow me on Instagram or our vlog channel, I was just talking about the baby and called it a girl, but she is a girl. We found out that it's another girl, which is so crazy. I'm so sure that it was a boy. Um, I did a video on this channel that was testing old wives tales and they all pointed to girl pretty much, but I still was really convinced that it was a boy anyways, because I was way sicker this time. So if you guys want to see, I actually posted the videos on this channel too, but I did it in like shorts or whatever, YouTube shorts. So so I don't know, I was just experimenting with like uploading those and seeing how they worked. But you guys can see um, me finding out and you can tell that I'm like so shocked because I literally couldn't believe it. We found out in the end of March. So we've known for a little bit and then we confirmed with an ultrasound because I literally did not believe it. But it is in fact a second baby girl, which I'm so excited about. It will be really nice to be able to reuse like a bunch of Cove's clothes. I saved a ton of 
of stuff so i don't really even need to buy that much i've also had a lot of people asking like am i gonna get all new stuff for this baby but i really don't need to do that it's just like wasteful if i already have stuff from cove so i do have lots of gender neutral pieces so i was gonna be able to reuse a lot of stuff either way but um i'll definitely get her like some new outfits i'm sure and i'll get her new binkies i'm trying to think of what else I think we'll probably switch up a couple things in Cove's room because Cove is actually gonna go. She's gonna have a new room. If you guys saw my last Q&A, a bunch of people thought that I accidentally gave away what the baby was before I had announced it because I said like the baby will go in her room and I was referring to Cove when I said her, but a lot of people were like, oh my gosh, she just gave away that it's a girl. I didn't really feel like that gave it away, but a lot of people did and it, it was a girl. So that might've ruined the surprise for some people using um, brow gel to set my eyebrows. Anyways, yeah, so I'm halfway done being pregnant. Little 20 week pregnancy update or i guess i'm like 19 and a half right now pretty much don't have like that many symptoms except that i already feel like a lot of pain down there i don't even know how to describe it i can't remember if i have this with cove or not but it is like so not fun it's not all the time it's if i like move a certain way or sit a certain way i don't even know how to describe it i don't know if it's like pressure but it is so not fun and just literally like painful so that has not been fun my doctor recommended getting like a belly band thing so i need to get one of those but my belly's not that big yet but i am gonna try that because i'm looking for literally like anything that helps but i feel like besides that i haven't really had any other symptoms i can feel the baby move now though which is super fun i think i could feel her at like 16 weeks a little bit which is when i felt cove too curling my eyelashes next and then parker actually felt her move from the outside before i was even 18 weeks which is super super crazy he couldn't feel cove until i don't know exactly how many weeks i was but at least like 21 or 22 i think so it's fun he can like already feel her kick they're just like little teeny mini baby kicks but it's really fun when like you can start to feel it from the outside so i do feel her move all the time but i feel like besides that and like the pain down there i haven't really had a lot of symptoms which is nice because the first trimester was super hard just being a lot sicker but now i feel mostly pretty good and i feel like we've been so busy with things especially like i said just like this phase that cove is in where she's like a little bit hard right now i feel like this pregnancy is just going by so fast and it's not that i forget that i'm pregnant but i don't know when life is like busy you just like don't have as much time to sit and think about it like i did the first time i'm gonna do mascara really quick it's kind of hard with these curlers like in the way but it's okay another life update we have is that we have been working on a project for a while now and we've been having a few more meetings about it lately i can't share what it is yet which i know is so annoying i can but we're just like waiting to share what it is until it's a little bit farther like we have a little more progress with it but if anybody wants to guess in the comments try and guess what it is but it's been fun to like actually be making progress on that because it's something we've wanted to do for a very very long time not sure when i'll share about it but it's gonna be really fun once i actually do the sun still is not back out yet but just did my mascara and now i think it's coming out because it's getting brighter last step is just this setting spray i usually get lazy and don't do any eyeshadow kind of just depends on the day i'm also gonna wait for my eyelashes to dry and then curl them again using this heated eyelash curler that i'll link down below for you guys i get asked about this all the time i used to have a different one and then i feel like they kind of only last like so long especially because i do use it after my mascara is done instead of before because i feel like the mascara is like what makes it straighter so i'm just gonna turn that on and let it heat up in these i feel like we're kind of still warm so i might clean up and give these a few minutes curling my eyelashes with this i've been kind of far away from the camera the whole time actually you guys probably can't really even see what i'm doing very well but it wasn't really a tutorial i just wanted to like basically have a casual little chit chat get ready with me the outfit i have today is also super cute and looks very very cute with my kate spade new york purse so i basically just use this to like really curl up the tips of my eyelashes and it's super easy so that's my makeup pretty much my everyday makeup and now i'm gonna give these rollers a few more minutes to set and then i'll show you guys taking them out All right, so I am ready. I feel like the rollers, I think I still need more practice. I don't know. I know it's supposed to be like loose and bouncy, but I think it needs like a little bit more something to it. So I don't know if anyone has any tips for me on how to use them better, please let me know in the comments. But anyways, this is my outfit. I am obsessed with this combo. I think it's so cute. Um, This is actually shorts, which is so nice and practical. As a mom, it looks like a skirt, but it's these shorts. They have lining underneath, so I can link those below for you guys along with this sweater, but I love how this is 
is like still kind of a neutral, um, even though it has a print on it. And then obviously I have the cute Kate Spade New York bag. Love this print, love these colors. And the link is down below if you guys want to shop Kate Spade New York pieces, katespade.com, or you can shop in store. But this is my outfit. I don't know where I'm going today, but I just have some like neutral flats that I wear with pretty much every outfit. So that'll complete it. I also have on a little necklace and that is it. So that is my get ready with me life update. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Thank you again to Kate Spade, New York, for sponsoring today's video.